station to take the express train from Oslo to Oslo airport and then we're gonna get on our first plane in a while. Those URL passes have spoiled us. Yeah it's been two months since we've taken any kind of flights and so it kind of stinks that we have to arrive at a terminal two plus hours before yeah. a flight whereas we've been used to literally hopping on like the last minute for our train. Yeah. But we are really excited about to get in Tromso and entering the Arctic Circle for the first time ever. Here's our train, let's go. Yep. And 18 minutes later, we are already at the airport. About two and a half hours early, way earlier than we expected. We could have had another half hour of sleep. So now we just gotta go figure out how to navigate the airport once again. So we're trying to hide our disappointment in the fact that there is not a single airport lounge in all of Norway. Well, at least not one that we have access to. That's true. <laughs> There's like specific airline lounges, like SAS Airlines, but we don't have access to any of them. And that's with our Centurion card and the priority pass, nothing. So we're having we had, a rough it today. I had to pay for coffee. <laughs> The airport is actually really nice. It's very nice. This was a super interesting airport because the whole check-in process was completely automated for yourself. Yes, it was amazing. It was like self-check-in, totally. We didn't, I don't think we talked to a person checking in at all. No, yeah, you just walk up and then you type in your confirmation code, it prints your boarding passes and your luggage tags if you're checking in bags. Mm -hmm. You put the luggage tags on yourself, you go over, you scan it yourself, and then just send it off. And then, yeah, I guess it's all on yeah. you if it gets to Trump, so we're not. Hopefully we put our tags on right. Yeah. And the security was interesting. Like any loose items, like cell phones and watches and stuff, they wanted you to put in your pockets. Yeah, instead of putting out in a little bowl or something. Yeah. So, yeah but again, different. super streamlined. There was like no lines mm -hmm. at all. So. Yeah. They know what they're doing. Yeah. It's really good. A really good airport experience. Except for the fact that there's no lounges. Yeah. But we'll manage until, I don't think the next one mm -hmm. is Detroit. One until Detroit, yeah. yeah. Because Reykjavik doesn't have any, but whatever. We'll survive. So we have about an hour until they start boarding. Hour and a half till our plane starts, or is leaving a Tromso. It's super blizzardy looking. It's all white and snowy out there. But I've only seen one flight canceled that's flying to Scotland. Everything else is going, so I think we're good to go. I think they, they're just used to these weather conditions. And if we haven't said yet, I don't remember our next lodging is we're staying on a boat yes <laughs> yes this is an airbnb this time it's a that hotel our boat. next two places are gonna be super interesting but this one is a boat and we got an email this morning that where we're staying is on the other side of i don't know if it's a fjord or a river or a lake than what it was advertised online yeah so basically the boat moved since we booked our yeah and so it's in, in kind of an inconvenient place yeah. When we booked it, we thought it was amazing because it was like right next to the city and in the city. So it kind of stinks now. Yeah, it moved. But we're super excited because I've never been on a boat. <laughs> Botel. Botel. <laughs> Because of the lineup situation, we had to actually buy some food. Super expensive, but we're starving. We won't be able to eat until we get there. So we went ahead and paid the 193 for two sandwiches and a water. So 
the check-in was also automated completely on your own. And we had a bit of a scare because I lost my boarding pass. But luckily, they texted me a boarding pass. So I was able to use that. We love 2019. It's oh, great. <laughs> but then we are doing the sandwich method where we bought the aisle and the window seat to have the middle seat open. It's only a two-hour flight. Hopefully no one gets the middle. But we're still waiting to see if we have the whole road to ourselves. Let's jump in, good afternoon, welcome aboard. This is a Norwegian flight bound for Tromsø. Uh, we are now at the icing platform, we have to remove some uh, snow and ice from the aircraft before we can uh, depart uh, towards the north. We fly down to Tromsø today, 1 hour and 30 minutes, nighttime conditions and latest weather in Tromsø. Few clouds, nice weather, uh, with a temperature of minus uh, 8 uh, degrees centigrade. We'll give you an update later on, wish you all the best. and the flight was so beautiful. We were just over all of the snowy fountains. It looked like there's no civilization anywhere and then all of a sudden, here's the little island of Trump. So just this beautiful little civilization. We're really excited to explore it. But, well, right now we're waiting for our bags and then we're not sure how we're gonna get to our boat hotel, Botel as we have named it, because they moved the boat. So we have to figure out how to find our boat. That's what we're working on now. The bus is just making stops along the way inside the Tromsø city center. It doesn't look like it goes to where we're going, but we're just riding it as far as we can and see if we can get us closer and closer to where we are so we don't have to walk as far because Google Maps for some reason is not showing any public transportation options for us to get where we need to go. It normally shows us and that's how we, that's what we rely on. Yeah, and there are city buses that are going around. Yeah, so we will see. This seems so awesome. I'm really, really excited. It's a beautiful, cool destination vacation spot. So we got off on the very last stop that the uh, airport shuttle was giving. And so we have to now walk, I think about 15 minutes across the other side of the water, across this huge bridge, and then we will be at our boat, hopefully. It's now three o'clock and the sun is almost gone. And it's a really clear night, so we're really, really hoping we'll see the northern lights here. If you've been wondering why the heck we came all the way up to Scandinavia in the winter, we are here solely for the northern lights. That has been our goal of this whole thing, is to come up here and see the lights. We booked a northern lights chasing tour that's, that we're gonna do it a couple days, or is that tomorrow? We're doing a northern lights tour tomorrow night where we hopefully will get to see the lights, but it's such a clear night tonight. I've well, we see them just out here in the city. We 
All right, checked in to our hotel. The guy walked in, said welcome aboard, and then just left us. So now we're gonna check out what a hotel's like, starting with everybody gets their issued by Fess. We got a big one for me, I guess a small one for Aubrey. <laughs> and then this is it. There it is. More polar bear. It looks just like a pull-out bed. Doesn't look great. That's okay. So we were leaving our boat for a little bit. We got to go get some food. Even though it's only like five o'clock, I think there's some kind of interesting like jet lag going on where it feels like it's super late and we missed dinner, but it's just now turning five o'clock, but it's already like pitch black dark. We don't know where we're going to go. We did see the public buses are a little bit expensive here, like $7 for both of us for one single journey. It is a lot more than everywhere else that we've been so far. And the temperature is, it feels like seven degrees, but it's actually like 15, I think, yeah. Fahrenheit. But it doesn't feel any worse than Oslo. Yeah, than Oslo. I think Stockholm, it. yeah. So we found ourselves in a grocery store once again, looking around, it's actually a really good grocery store, but they have no like pre-made stuff and we don't have any form of microwave or anything. So it's kind of hard to find food right now. Back on the boat, we came up to this cool observation deck that they have where you can just chill out. They have coffee machines and different little hot drinks we can have for free. And so we're sitting here eating our grocery snacks that we got and then hopefully trying to see if any other lines come out. Hopefully we can see them from here and then run outside onto the deck to see. We downloaded an app that's supposed to alert us and it doesn't look like the odds are very good right now. The sky is super clear, but I guess it's just the, the chance of the aurora actually happening isn't very high right now. So we're gonna sit here for a while and uh, just keep watching the skies and seeing if we can see anything. We don't have proof yet, but we spotted the Northern Lights from the front of our boat. Kinda over there and over there. But it's super faint, so we're still trying to figure out how to see it through the camera. We don't see it anymore, but we definitely saw it really briefly. So we definitely saw the lights but we didn't get any pictures of it. It was very, very faint. Um, and I think here in the city, it's a little too bright to be able to see it very well. So we're here for about five days. So hopefully we'll get to see them really clearly one of the nights that we're here. Tomorrow night, we're going on a really long excursion, seven hours through the night, I think until like 2 a.m. Something like on that, On a yeah. Northern Lights hunt. Yeah. So hopefully tomorrow night's our night. It's as good as tonight. It is so cold though. We're going inside and we are calling it a night. Thanks for traveling with us to Tromso. Good night.